What's good, you guys? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be telling you guys how you can become a better drawer, a better artist. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. If you have a passion for art, and you've been wondering, how can I get my skills to look like cheese or better? Or how can I get on a level where I'm just happy with my work? If that's you and you watching this video, man, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. So maybe you can do the same thing and hopefully it'll help you get the same results. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just showing y'all. A couple of my old sketches before your boy came. Um, before I came, became, I'm tripping. Before I became a digital artist, this is what I did, man. I just drew, drew a lot on paper, man. So, okay, the biggest advice I'm going to give you guys, rule number one, you have to be comfortable with being trash before you ever get better. So... I don't want you to have a mindset of thinking you just going out the gate, be amazing. Because I wasn't great when I first started. So you have to be okay with being terrible before you get better. So it's a phase every artist go through. But the more you do it, the better you will get. And I even found some examples to show you guys what I'm talking about. Like even when you look at this. You know what I'm saying? The before and after. That mean that person had to stay dedicated from this to get to that. So we don't even know how long it took to get it. Look, some years. They was consistent and dedicated to go from this to go to that. So the more you do it, that's the goal, man. The more you do anything in life, you have no choice but to improve. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how God created us. He created us to get better. You know what I'm saying? Anything you work at, you ain't going to have no choice but to get better. Look at this. The first one was good, but the second one is amazing, man. You got to put the time in if you truly want to improve with your art. So any of you guys that's always coming and ask me, man, how can I get better? This is exactly how you do it. It's not a secret, bro. You have to stay down for the come up. You have to put in those hours. You have to be dedicated. You have to devote your time to it. You know what I'm saying? You have to be okay with being terrible until you get better. Look at this. Like You can honestly see the growth. So that means in the three-year time between this, that person stayed dedicated to get to this level, man. For real. We got to get rid of that mindset of instant gratification because there's no such thing, man. And that'll discourage you if you feel like, bro, like in a week, I'm supposed to get better. It's not improving. No, sometimes it takes some years, man. So get rid of that mindset. No matter how long it takes, just notice areas where you feel like, Man, I notice I'm improving, man. Even if it's a little tiny bit. You know what I'm saying? Just just know everything don't happen overnight and stay going. Like, for real. It's, you have to be truly dedicated to it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you guys what I used to do when I first started out as far as just working on my skills. So, let's go to that part of the video. What I used to do, man, I used to go get me a magazine or find a magazine that's laying around the house. You know what I'm saying? And most of the time it was one of those uh, jet magazines. So I used to get one of those. I used to find any paper, any paper, bro, whether it's computer paper, whether it's this type of paper. No matter what it was, something to draw on, even if it was the back of a, uh, what you call it, an envelope. Anything that I can draw on that was available, bro. That's what I used to do. Then I used to flip through and just look for something that's interesting. It could be anything. Just as long as you're drawing, it'll work on your skills. 
if you try to find something to draw daily, like even if you spend like 30 minutes out your day, every day, to find something to sketch, you know what I'm saying? Get you a pen or a pencil, whatever. And just practice every day. And what you're going to do, you create muscle muscle memory. You know what I'm saying? So you, I used to look through a book, and then I'd be like, man, I want to draw something. And I, it'll be a picture like this. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw LeBron's face and focus strictly on that face. And then just do it as slow as possible. Like, I get a pen, and then I just look. And then I come on this side and try to just do the same thing I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. And I just stay doing that, man, until you get better. Because all it is, as long as you got, as long as you got the passion for it and you want to get better, you going to get better, man. So you just got to put in the work. So that's pretty much it. The more you do it, the better you will be. So ask yourself, how better do you want to be? How bad do you want it? Don't look at my channel or look at my followers and think that's what makes me better than anyone because it really don't. Only thing that set me apart from you is maybe I just put more time into something you have yet to put more time in. So if you see me as a level you're trying to reach, all you have to do is put time into it. Dedicate yourself. It's just like going to the workout room. If you see somebody with some big muscles and you don't have any, do what they do. Come to the gym more. Work out more. Push yourself more. And eventually, you'll be the person with the muscles. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Y'all leave in the comment section. Do you like videos like this? Because if you do, your boy will drop so many more. Without further ado, see you guys soon. Love y'all. I'm out this thing.